Okay, this is the uh, screen uh, of the, the narrow pulse. This is the current over unity, okay, and we're drawing 100 milliamps from the power supply, but the cell is drawing 1.3 amps at 2.6 or 2.7 volts. Uh, this is with a new coil design. Uh, of course, it's not where this is going to produce very much HHO, uh, but the point is, is the current over unity. And uh, I need to also take a measurement of the bias. And uh, let's see, we're on the bottom one here. So our scale is two tenths of a volt. So, or two volts, I'm sorry. So we got, if we bring this thing up, we're going to be two, four, six, eight, eight volts. And I'll have to look at the bias. Bias is at. Uh, 44 uh, millivolts, almost zero bias. And the frequency for this uh, 12 to 13 times over unity is 5.94 kilocycles. Okay, this is the uh, uh, quickly made projection circuit. Uh, later on here at the end of the video, I have my new circuit posted, and you'll see it integrated in there. Uh, this has been very effective. Uh, it's two non-polarized, uh, I believe it's, those are, I'm trying, those got those out of an old PC power supply, but I think they're around 220 uh, microfarad, and I have them, uh, the positives uh, soldered together, so it's, it's non-polarized. And um, that sure was what was going on here in the, uh, uh, burning up here and uh, and I was really worried because uh, if we were installing these in the automobiles the problem would be possibly damaging, uh, damaging the computer in those cars or other electronic devices so this seems to be a very necessary uh, item to add now this thing of these motors and power supplies failing doesn't happen at every frequency or mark space. It was while I was changing those uh, settings uh, that this happened. I mean, I went a long time without any failures, uh, but with this new rod design, uh, the failures tended to be uh, more often, and um, it would. Uh, I had those explosions about in the first power supply, uh, first uh, uh, research video. This is uh, inside the uh, tore apart the squirrel cage fan, and inside there it's very sophisticated. There's a number of ICs and other solid state devices, and there'll be a close up here coming up. And on the left, you're going to see. Um, uh, the damage uh, to an IC and it's rather smoked over in that area. Now I have made some uh, changes and this slide shows you uh, where I've added a non-polarized capacitor across the cell and what this gave me was a uh, additional amount of current um, and still had about an over 200% unity when I did that. Uh, this is the old uh, circuit and uh, this is my old circuit as of just a few weeks ago and this is the new one 
and notice that uh, I have put the protection circuit in and I made notations where you hook up cooling fans and other and, and your generator your, your solid state generator circuit uh, you must connect these uh, to the uh, point A or the, 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 the um, outside the, the filter circuit uh, no longer is there a cooling fan needed for the rod. The rod runs perfectly cold, um, but of course to, to, to protect the MOSFET, uh, you want to have a, a fan there. So uh, I just have a regular 4-inch muffin fan above it, and it doesn't get hot. And I'm not cooling the, um, uh, the damn fast diodes. They are working real well. So this is not the last word. I mean, um, I bypassed the cell, and that kind of proves, uh, with the capacitors, that kind of proves that the cell is not part of what's going on. Um, but you can, that's your option if you want to do that. Um, you'll notice there are uh, two damn fast diode circuits in this. Uh, actually, I get more over unity by just using one, and I've changed the insertion point. But the the addition of the second one provides us with more current and the trick is to have equal uh, canceling currents going through the damn fast diodes. Now my meters I have balanced within uh, 100 milliamps of each other. The one that's in the cell circuit is reading 100 milliamps low so that's so when I give you a, a, a ratio it's conservative. The total current versus putting a, a, a amp meter outside the circuit uh, is running about 800 millimeters, 800 mils low. So actually, our our current is higher than indicated in my videos. Uh, it'd be nice to have all these uh, expensive meters calibrated and everything. I just don't have that. Don't have the money to do it. Everything is done kind of on a you know a budget. So uh, that's basically uh, what's up to date here, and. Um, I hope that uh, everybody has success in duplicating it. Um, I'm going to be uh, advancing the circuit. Next step is I'm going to add two more uh, what they call delayed one shots. In other words, when we don't have that narrow pulse, there'll be another pulse generated right after it collapses, either in the coil I'm using now or we'll use multiple coils. Also, I'm going to reduce the windings. Uh, this one is about 66 turns total in three layers. So I'm going to reduce and take one layer off and see that if that has any, any effect. By the way, it didn't have any effect going from uh, a long rod to a four or five inch rod in multi-layer. So that's kind of cool. Um, there are other, other things to explore, uh, mixing multiple um, oscillators uh, instead of just doing a delayed one shot off of the main one. That's another approach. Um, also uh, want to get into uh, building a, a rodent coil. And the, the downside of the rodent coils has been uh, the time it takes to wind these. Uh, there's, there's people on eBay that are selling uh, rodent coils for up to $300 a piece. I have an idea on how to wind a rodent coil very fast for you know low cost manufacturing. So this is going to be uh, one of my things I want to take a look at. Uh, I may fail at this, but if you don't try it, you don't accomplish anything. And that's basically what's been this whole deal. I started in this uh, venture simply to have a uh, HHO cell in my van within two weeks. Now that's been a year and almost three quarters ago, and I stumbled on this uh, overcurrent unity or power, over power unity thing too. And uh, so what you're seeing here will be the uh, the multi MOSFET triggering that will be hooked either to a single coil or to multiple coils. This should be scalable. There shouldn't be any reason why we can't multiply what we have by at least a factor of five. So if I have an over unity of 200 percent at eight, eight amps, I should be able to go up to 32 amps. And that should be more than adequate. See you in the next video. Happy holidays to everybody.